Imagine your phone rings and it's a collection agency claiming you owe them thousands. Well, it happened to one Valley man who says he felt threatened and tonight a look at how you can fight back in a contact 13 consumer alert. I myself freaked out at first. Bill Everett is angry about a recent phone call. They said they had a legal letter. Uh, they wanted to deliver to me and uh, something about a court date. He was told he had an outstanding credit card debt of more than $9,000. The caller had a lot of Bill's correct information, including a partial social security number, but they needed his current address. Bill says something didn't feel right and he refused to give them any more information. She was well, then I guess you'll just miss your court date and we'll do a silent judgment against you. Click and hung up on me. Even with the threat of court, Bill wasn't going to budge. He knew he didn't have any outstanding debt, and he picked up the phone to confirm. I called uh, Wells Fargo, and they hooked me up with their collection departments. They said, no, we don't have anything like that on you. There's, you're good standing. It turns out it was all a scam, but Bill wants everyone to understand these thieves are really convincing. And in the middle of the call, it can be scary. I was worried they're going to damage my credit. So here's what you need to know if you get a harassing phone call from a debt collector. They need to prove that you owe that debt. Michelle Johnson with the Financial Guidance Center says, get that proof in writing. If you're afraid it's a scam and don't want to provide your address, just give them your email. You can confirm. Um, your address after they give it to you, your social after they give it to you, your date of birth after they give it to you, but don't volunteer any personally identifying information. And if they make any threats, remember, you're protected under the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act. It limits the, the times you can be called. It limits the number of calls you can have, you can receive. So here's the Contact 13 bottom line. If you think a scammer has your information and could hurt your credit, place a fraud alert on your credit report. And if you think you've been mistreated by an abusive debt collector, file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. We have more information at KTNV.com. Just type links into the search box.